Hey guys, so I'm back today with a review and I have a bunch of swatches for you for the NYX Black Label Lipsticks. And I recently picked up a few of these and I've had them for about a couple weeks now and I really love them. So I'm going to show you, I have six different shades and I'm going to show you all the colors I have and give you my thoughts on the line as a whole. First, I'm just going to tell you my review of these and then I'm going to show you all the colors that I have. So, just looking at these, I love the little case that it comes in. I think they're so pretty. They're, it's like a charcoal gray, blackish kind of color and it has like a little lace design here and then NYX and Black Label lipstick. Like the NYX round lipsticks, it has a clear bottom so you can see you know what shade you're getting when you have them stored and that way you're not like taking them all out like that and looking and trying to find the one you want so I do like the packaging um, depending on where you find these the price varies I think like on the NYX cosmetics website and Ulta and things like that they're about seven dollars maybe a little more um, some of these I got from cherryculture.com, which is where I like to get a lot of my NYX products. And on there, I'm pretty sure they're like $5.99, so they're a little bit cheaper on there. And then I got a, a three of these on eBay, and I bought them like all three together. So I think it ended up being about five bucks per lipstick, which is not bad at all for these. So pretty affordable. As far as the formula goes, I love it. Um, these lipsticks, the six that I have, are just so pigmented. It's crazy. And there are a huge range of colors, which is awesome. I have one that's nude, and then I have some berry tones. And they're all pigmented about the same. I mean, just one swipe, and you get completely nude, or just like bright, or berry, or dark, or whatever. Whatever you see in the tube is what you're going to get on your lips, so I really like that. Also, I've been wearing these lipsticks alone, like I haven't really been wearing a gloss over them, and they haven't dried my lips out. They're actually pretty moisturizing. I would even say that they are more moisturizing than the round lipsticks from NYX. As far as the finish goes, they're pretty much matte. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of shimmer going on. You can see a little bit of shine, but, you know, nothing crazy. They're pretty much all creamy and fairly matte looking. As for how long they wear, it's really about average. I mean, just like pretty much any other lipstick. You know, if you eat or drink or do things like that, then, you know, it's going to wear off and you're going to have to reapply. But they don't fade, you know, abnormally fast or faster than any other lipstick. So, yeah, I really love them. Oh, I can't get enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what colors I have. The first one is called Dusty Rose. And it looks like this. And the name actually suits this color really well. It's a mauvey pink and just a very, very creamy color. And this is a swatch of Dusty Rose right there. Very, very wearable shade. I think it would suit a lot of skin tones, and I really, really like that one. Next, I have Heather. And this is more of a lighter pink, and it's kind of a little bit more bright, too. Kind of more like a bubblegum pink color. This is Heather right there. I think that one's really pretty, too. The one that I'm wearing right now is my favorite, and it's, I saw this color from um, Jen on From Head to Toe, and she swatched several of these lipsticks, and she swatched this one, and I was like, I have to find that, because I thought it was so pretty, and now that I have it, I can honestly say that I think this is my favorite lipstick that I've ever had in my whole entire life. I love it. And I'm pretty much obsessed with it, but it is called Bling. And it is absolutely perfect. It's just a medium pink color, very natural looking. Um, I think this is just a perfect color 
for me. I love it. And this is it right here. This is bling. Next up is Sweet Prawn. And when I put this on, the thing that pops in my head about how to describe this color is like a summery strawberry kind of color. It's extremely bright and really bold. This is it right there. It's a pretty bold color. And yeah, I was like trying to think of how I would describe this color to you all. And the word strawberry just kept popping into my head. And it's pretty much just like a strawberry pinkish red color. And another kind of darker um, shade that I have, and this is actually my second favorite shade out of the ones that I have, is called Berry. And again, this is just very true to its name. It's just a really pretty light red berry color. And I actually think this is very wearable because I'm slowly breaking into the red lip. Like I've, I'm very uncomfortable wearing a red lip out. I'm getting better at it though. And I think this would be like the perfect transitional red if you want to kind of break away more from the nudes and the pinks and the neutrals and go more dramatic and red or just a bold lip. This would be the perfect color to kind of start out wearing your red lips with and that's what I'm doing. And then the very last one I have is the complete opposite of the spectrum and it is called Nude. And this is just a very peachy nude color. I actually thought I was getting the color natural. I actually just realized that <laughs> This is not the natural color, this is nude. So I don't know, hmm, I don't know whose mistake that was. I don't know if it was mine or eBay. I'm gonna have to check on that. But anyway, I got nude and, okay, I'm gonna swatch it. This is one of those shades, for most people I would not wear this alone. I think this shade is best layered with another color. Because it's right here. And as you can see, it's just extremely light. And yeah, it's a very warm toned peachy nude. It is pretty. If you have really dark skin, you may not like this because I'm pretty fair and I put it on and I was like, I definitely would not wear that alone, even for me. So I really, really love the black label lipstick line. I think it's really nice. And if you like lipstick, you should definitely try it out. I think you would love it. And I'm also going to have a blog post with more pictures. I'm going to swatch them on my lips as well and have those pictures so that you can see what they actually look like when someone is wearing them as opposed to just swiped on your hand. But let me just show you really quick how pigmented these are and how easily they go on. Okay, it's like this is the strawberry color I was talking about. I mean, just one swipe down my hand and you get that. I just think it's so awesome. And if you're thinking, well, sure, she picked a darker, brighter color to do that with. She's sneaky. I'm going to show you with my favorite bling. And this is a fairly light color. It's a light pink. I mean, they are just amazingly pigmented. And they're so soft and velvety smooth. I just, I am raving. I know I cannot say enough good things about these. There are really no cons except that, I mean, if I were going to complain about something, I guess I wish they were free. I don't know, but I would definitely pay five bucks for those any day of the week. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, just leave them below and I will see you next time.